everyone, it's Marion, and I'm here to show you how I do my soap bubbles. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, so I thought I would do a quick little video and just talking basically about lighting this time. The most important thing it, uh, when you do soap bubbles is the size of the light source. So I'm using a Godox softbox, which is 47.2 inches, um, which is 120 centimeters and it's vert it's horizontal right now because if i uh have the softbox tilted at all it does not fill the entire bubble with the light that i need so i have two boxes which um the boxes are about 31 inches tall and i'm sitting on the carpet now so usually when i'm doing my soap bubbles i'm on the ground but you can prop this up higher if you're not comfortable sitting on the ground and just kind of do the same thing. Make sure your light source is completely horizontal um, and find something to balance it on. So the height from the bottom of this table, my table is 22 inches tall right here. So from the bottom of this table to the bottom of the light source here is 11 inches. Then when I blow my bubble right here, which is normally about two to three inches tall, it's about nine inches from the light source. So that is how close it has to be to the light source. Um, the other thing I have in the back there is a, a black foam core. Um, anything black, any kind of material or curtain is fine. This is a curtain I have over this table. So you definitely wanna have something black for your background. And I am using inside of the softbox two um, Godox TT 600 speed lights. So whatever light source you have um, should be fine, but it needs to be really strong um, or really uh, high powered light. So it's gonna have enough illumination for your bubbles. And that's about it for today's tip. And I will be doing more videos to tell you more about how I do these bubbles. Thanks.